Hello, I'm OBX Toyka, and welcome back, everybody, to what is a really cool modded mini game. That's right, this is the Hunger Games you want to and love. Kill people, don't be hungry. I'm pretty sure those are the rules. But yeah, uh, it's the Hunger Games you want to and love, but with a really cool lucky block modification. So instead of having a big cornucopia in the center, there's one super lucky block. And then around the map, instead of chest, there is loads of uh, lucky blocks. They could give you literally anything. They are random with over 125 separate item ideas. It's a pretty cool thing. So when I turn on the light, the game will start, and I'm going to do that in free. Two, one, go, go, go! Everyone, rush to the center block! Come on, come on, come on! Give me the, give me the block! Give me the block! <laughs> so yeah, the items just spew out everywhere. Hopefully, I get them. And there is a minute grace period. I didn't, get, I didn't get anything. That's sad. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna run around the map now. You do have to wait around 5-10 seconds for the stuff to appear because it's a uh, really cool. Like, oh, I got nothing in this one. <laughs> it is a really cool. A little, uh, like, not not a little mod uh, done by, I believe it's God of Games. Because basically what it does is uh, there's item frames in there. And inside the item frames, there's, like, you know, the 125 items. And it just randomly gives you some number of those. So this time we got a diamond sword. <laughs> That's a nice start. So, yeah, I've played this map a couple of times before but got pretty bad luck. And uh, because it is all random, some games you'll get everyone with diamond armor. You know, everyone doing really, really crazy well like that. And some games you'll just have, you know, everyone in their iron armor, uh, you know, with no weapons and stuff. It's it's really cool and crazy. Oh, we got ourselves some iron leggings. That's pretty good. Uh, again, only one item that block. You can get something like five or ten items in a block if you're really lucky. Uh, again, it's like it's a, it's a pretty cool, you know, take on the lucky block PC thing. And, uh, yeah, I think the minute grace period's probably around about up by now. Um... I'm not going to be the first to attack someone, but it, it probably is, you know, done right back now. Um, this is a, a really perfect map for Lucky Block 2 because uh, it's it's like this uh, casino mixed with a theme park. So you'll notice around the edge of the map, there's this big roller coaster. There's also a few water slides, a few things like that. And uh, let's actually go to the roller coaster now. So, uh, I, oh wait, oh, someone's gone up there already, but they've missed this Lucky Block over here. And there's one behind that too. So uh, we'll take the two free Lucky Blocks because um, I'm assuming if there's any up there, they're going to get it. Oh! Uh, is is there going to be anything? Oh, a golden apple. Please be a god apple. Please be a god apple. And it is. It's a god apple. You can tell it's god apple, by the way, because of the purple text. Uh, that's something I haven't... Oh, wait. Is there is there something over here that I missed? There's not. Okay, it's just the water I saw in the corner of my eye. Um, I'm seeing lots of, like, uh, you know, sparks flying off from someone eating food. So, yeah, we also need to eat our own stuff in a second. Uh, the grace period is up, like I mentioned, so we're going to have to keep our close eye on them. We'll stay nice and crouch. Is there anything? Oh, okay, we got... Two arrows, is that? Uh, not very useful without a bow, and with only iron leggings, we are pretty undefended. But we can kill someone pretty easily if they don't have a weapon, because a diamond sword kind of trumps most things there. So, <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's hope we are doing pretty well then. Again, like it, I I really love the random element of this because it means everyone could have entirely different stuff. And uh, yeah, let's head over here. It looks like this isn't part of the map because like this this you know the roller coaster legs they look like they're cutting off the map, but as far as I know they are not. And if if they do, then I just get I guess I just don't get lucky blocks. But I'm pretty oh I I see one just on the shore there. Uh, maybe it is a cut off then actually. But either way. Let's take the block and let's see what's in there. So this one, the item frames on the outside of the block, so you can see what's in there. Do you, can you break the? Okay, so we got some food. We got a helmet. Uh, so far we're not doing. Oh wait, we got a bow. That's useful. So now we'll, our plan: we have to range attack someone till they're you know too scared to attack anymore. Then we're gonna chase them and finish them. Uh, if we can find like, oh, is that a lucky block hidden in the dark cave? It's it's pretty dark in here. There's even an Enderman. That's that's a bad sign, I think. Uh, let's just break the block. Oh, please don't tell me he's after me. I think he just fell in the water. I hope that's what happened. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. So, yeah. Not doing so amazing so far. We'll see what we can do about that. Um, hopefully, if we jump onto this roller coaster, it will lead us somewhere useful. Uh, that's actually going to be a good plan. So, uh, the grace period is up. It is just one minute, as uh, the sign says. And uh, no one's died yet. Because, by the way, oh, I forgot to mention, I am playing with these people here. Megaverse Prime, Leisure Gaming, MZ255, and lo, my name is Jeff. <laughs> um... And of course, MZ255 and Leisure Hour are YouTubers. So, um, basically, I am trying to head around this track, seeing if there's any lucky blocks around here. This looks like it is just a dark cave meant to, you know, create the dark combat. And it is pretty cool, because, you know, that, that apparently will work. So, um, game attacks are on, and I'm just so far away from people, I can't see them. That's a good sign for now, because, like I mentioned, all I want to find... Well, actually... Is there a lucky block around here somewhere? No. All I want to find is more lucky blocks. Oh, there's one over there. So... Uh, let's try and jump out onto the vines. Is that a realistic plan? Oh, no. Okay. It worked. It worked. <laughs> oh, wow. That was scary. 
because, uh, you know, obviously, don't be taking too much full damage, except I don't think you can get up there. Okay, yes, you can. Uh, I, I do love, like, climbing mountains sometimes. When you're in hunger games and you're, like, you know, looking for something intense, it can feel kind of stressful. But, yeah, we're up here now, and we do have the lucky block. What's going to be inside? It's a, just a gold sword? Is it? Please, please not just be a gold sword. Okay, so we got our second gold sword of the game. Um... I think we've got pretty bad luck this game. Hopefully everyone else has too. And then when we find them, okay, they are still in the game. I probably was worried, like, am I just playing Lucky Block by myself? Um, they all seem to be avoiding each other too, though, so I'm not too bothered about that. Oh, and we got an extra arrow. Um, so, yeah, let's see. I guess we could head along the railroad a little bit more. Like it. Oh, I don't think we can actually get into that. So, okay, I see someone over there. We're going to try and take them out from afar with a bow. Uh, we do have a melon slice, and then we're going to eat some bread, and that should get us up to full hunger. Because uh, you don't want to go into a fight with low hunger, because it means if you need to chase, then you're not going to be regenerating. And during a chase is the worst time to try and eat. So, yeah, we need to find a way we can get underneath this thing. Okay, yeah, that's MZ over there. Can we... we no, oh, okay. Yeah, we have to try and sneak up. Ah, oh, she, <laughs> she has full diamond armor. This is a fight I'm not winning, but I might have to try anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and long range this fight. I think that's the only way I stand a chance here. I'm going to hope she doesn't have a weapon. That might also... Okay, so she has a... Oh, she has a gold sword. Oh, the arrows are hitting. The arrows are hitting. Wow, three hits in a row. That is a new... Okay, so she's running away. That means the arrows did some damage. Okay, she's running in for me. That means she knows that I'm weakened. Uh, or that she knows I don't have... Oh, and I'm all out of, I'm all out of arrows. So eat the golden apple. And then charge in, charge in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No, come on. Okay. I, I've got to hope that, oh, no, that her gold sword isn't strong enough to, oh, oh yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Amzi. I needed to kill you. <laughs> so I've got loads of potions. I, I'm very grateful for your contribution to the cause. Now, now I've got Emzy's spirit, and let's not do that. That's kind of weird, actually. But yeah, let's put on the armor. This should hopefully give us a decent head start. Oh, she has full diamond armor. Uh, besides the helmet, I guess. But still, a very nice start there. Now what we have to do is uh, get rid of all these bows, because they're kind of useless to us. Uh, put the potions down on here. And yeah, we're, we're pretty ready to, to wreck some people. Because full diamond armor plus the diamond sword, it's... Oh wow, the arrows are stuck in there. <laughs> That's a pretty powerful combination. So, I'm going to find someone... Uh, okay, let's see how long this swiftness potion is. It's 4 minutes speed 2. That's a good swiftness potion. Let's try and find people then. So, yeah, this is a big map, so <laughs> it is reasonably easy to get lost. Uh, actually, there's a lucky block over there. Um, given that there is just uh, three people left alive, if I'm right, uh, we might as well get the last few lucky blocks, because there is a couple out over there on the sea. A part of me wants to just end a pearl to save me some time of going through the water. But, you know, I'll I'll be the nice, honest toy cat who just... Um, I'll be the nice, you know, uh, the good old toy cat who can just uh, swim out there himself and not waste his valuable resources. So... I don't know if there's a way on board this ship. There's probably a ladder on the side, actually. Wait, is there? There isn't on that side. Maybe you have to... Do you have to go underneath, maybe? There's got to be a ladder. You can't just... It's, I don't think you can get on that. Well, that's that's great. <laughs> maybe you have to end a pearl to get onto it. You know, I'm going to pretend that's the case. Maybe I'm just being an idiot and I'm missing a case. But I'm pretty sure you can't get onto the surface if it's like a block up. Like, But that's that's just my opinion uh, or my understanding. Uh, we did actually get most of the items already through the block somehow. Let's see what we got then. So nothing here is looking too useful. Uh, yeah, I'm, I kind of want this potion on my hotbar instead of maybe the... We need the melon slices there. So instead of the 64 item frames, because we're really starting to collect a lot of those. So just so we know these ahead of time, this is instant health, this is regeneration, this is instant health. So this and this are the two potions we want to use. I don't know where everyone is, but I'm coming after them. So, yeah, I'm... I don't know why I can't see anyone's game tags. Maybe they're both trying to hide and they're going to ambush me somewhere. Uh... I, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm mean, going to look around the map, and I'm going to try and find them. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah, we've we got to look for those game tags there. Always a pretty handy thing. Uh, game tags being on is really, like, a useful part of the console kind of scene, because everyone has, like, their own bright colors, so you can, you know, kind of tell who's who. So, oh, over there. Oh, I guess game tags. Oh, wait, yeah, you can see it. Uh, it looks like there, uh, maybe he was through water or something. That is over there. Hello, my name is Jeff. So, for this fight, we are going to put on the speed potion. We are going to put on the regeneration potion, maybe? Okay, no, wait. Okay, we can do this without the regeneration potion. So, actually, no, we can't. Let's charge in that. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> okay, you're dead. You're dead. You're so dead. 
Or maybe you're not dead. Oh, yes, he is. He is, <laughs> he is very dead. Don't, don't worry about that. So now I believe that must be Leisha, the last person left alive. Over on the other side, uh, we need to get ourselves the regeneration potion. Uh, we don't really need most of this armor. So I'm going to try and pick up as much as I can that's useful. It looks like it's just item frames and that left. I'm going to try and... I'm going to pull the ultimate maneuver, maneuver here. And I'm going to try and end a pearl behind Leisure and confuse the heck out of him. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just... Uh, yeah, what well, I'm going to... I don't think he's expecting this at all. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, please work as well as I want this to work. Okay, so I'm... Okay, does he see me over here? Does he see me? He does see me. <laughs> he saw me pull that maneuver. But little does he know I'm going to try and put it... Again. Okay, now we keep him underwater. That's how we kill him. If we keep him trapped underwater, he's going to... Oh, no, he's going to try and pull the... Pull the bow stunts. Not bo bow shenanigans. No bow shenanigans. Please, no bow shenanigans. Now I go underwater. Oh, and he's missed his arrow shot. This is... Oh... I don't think he has a sword. Oh, he has a wooden sword. <laughs> oh, this is this is going to be an interesting fight then. Okay, so we got the big underwater fight going on here. Oh, oh, wow, that's, that's some pretty brutal stuff. I'm going to try and keep him under there as long as I can. That's going to be my way of killing him. I love the passive drown. Oh, whoa, whoa, lag. I'm the host in that lag. Uh, I'm going to try and get the passive drown kill. He's trying to get away. He's trying to get away. He's trying to get... Oh, wow, he's got a lot of armor on there. Oh, yes. Finally, we did it. We have won the Lucky Block Hunger Games. That was three kills, actually. That was mostly my job. I, I usually like to play the game of Hunger Games where it's like, well, not losing is almost as good as winning, and then try and win at the last two. But this, this strategy of just charge in, get lucky, kill someone who also got lucky is a very effective thing. So I did win the game. I'm very pleased with myself. I hope you enjoyed this, like, Lucky Block Hunger Games mod. Uh, let me know what you thought of it. I think it's a cool twist in the Hunger Games, because, you know, the Hunger Games is kind of done out and thing. This is a really cool way to make it so there's no, like, host advantage or knowing where the chest is advantage. It's just pure luck combined with skill, and I like that, which... Like, luck combined with skill is a lot of things. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did like it. Share it if you really liked it. And subscribe if you're new around here. I'm going to do some more stuff uh, that's Lucky Block mod plays, because, as I mentioned, the mod maker and... Also, the person who uh, converted this map are also doing some more cool stuff, so hopefully I'll do more of that. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Let's face the potion anyway. Yeah, see you in the next video.